Floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian, I'm blind, I'm a disaster survivor, and I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Food and water preparation. One of the most important parts in preparing for emergencies is having food and water ready. This is especially essential for those who are blind or partially sighted, so you can label things in advance and have them ready to go all in one place. In an emergency where you are forced to shelter at home, you may require between three and seven days worth of food for most urban centers in Canada. Keep in mind, if you're in a rural area, you may be isolated even longer. The core of your food supply preparation should be shelf-stable foods, including canned goods and water. Select foods that you enjoy eating and try to find cans of ready-made foods that require little or no water to cook. Here are some excellent examples. Boxed or canned juice, soup, canned beans, fruit and pudding cups, crackers, cereal, granola, nuts, canned pasta and chili, peanut butter and jam. Remember to pack a hand-operated can opener with your kit in the event of a power outage. Rotate these supplies from your emergency kit into your pantry every six months. Doing this with the daylight savings clock change or the spring and fall equinox is a good way to remember. When you're making your list, don't forget your service animal's needs. After an emergency, when it comes to food that may have spoiled, if in doubt, just throw it out. Don't eat any food that has come in contact with animal waste, chemicals, flood water, snow, ice, soil, dirt, or thawed meat. Anything with an unusual odor, color, or texture, any cans that are bulging, opened, damaged, or past their best before dates should be thrown away. Keep in mind that many of these shelf-stable foods are high in salt, which can make you thirsty, so check your labels and watch your salt intake. TapTapC, VoiceStream, and other accessibility apps can help. By just taking a photo of an item, the app can identify it for you, and any text like expiry dates on labels are read aloud. Having adequate water is important. Each person needs about two liters of drinking water and two liters of water for hygiene and food preparation. So that's a total of four liters per day. For your service animals and pets, the average dog requires four liters of water per day and the average cat requires one liter. So that's 28 liters per person per week and 28 liters per dog per week. Many camping jugs come in a 15 liter size. So two per person per week will keep you covered. Try to use non-breakable plastic containers to store your water. If your city distributes water in bulk in an emergency, be sure to keep a collection of clean, empty containers in good condition that can hold it. Ensure these containers have not been used for hazardous products previously. You might want to consider keeping some water decontamination drops or tablets in your emergency kits as well. Under a boil water advisory, bring water to a rolling boil for at least one minute. You can store boiled water in a sealed, clean container for up to 24 hours at room temperature or up to three days in the refrigerator. Also, use boiled water for personal hygiene, like brushing your teeth and washing your hands as well as food preparation. Unless advised otherwise, you can use unboiled tap water for baths and showers or washing clothes and for food preparation that requires prolonged boiling. What else should you have ready at home for an unexpected disaster? Find out by watching the complete AMI emergency series at ami.ca, on the AMI-TV app, and at the AMI YouTube channel.